sound. We will have to see. Oh. It's very pretty around here. It's quieter as well. Oh. I was a proper writing wanker this afternoon as well. Sat in the window at Starbucks with my laptop. Writing. <laughs> Everyone's probably watching me going, you show off. Oh. find somewhere to eat um, we just fancy some like tapas and a glass of wine it's really hard to find anywhere to like eat in Geneva just like you know if you went to Leeds or Manchester you could just wander to loads of different places and find somewhere to eat over here it seems really hard like unless you know where you're going it's really hard to actually know where there are places to eat Trim. Tram, 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 tram.
some food. Thomas is here. Tom's trying to work out what's going on with the police behind us because we just stood here looking at the jet and suddenly the police rolled up behind us and stopped and Tom's like, oh god, here we go again because as you all might know, we got stopped by the police um, a few weeks ago. Totally innocent, they let us go, nothing happened but um, he was convinced that they were coming back to talk to us again. They weren't, but there's something going on behind us. They're basically arresting a youth. Keep walking. Apparently we've got to keep walking. These flies are annoying me. Are they? You buy a lake. Yeah, but it's March. You know, the ski season, I mean, you can see snow mountains, there should be. <laughs> right, let's keep going. You say some awful things about me sometimes. You're recording. I am. I'm recording this so that I can have some evidence of you being mean to me. People don't believe it. We'll go, that Tom, he's lovely. He's Will making they? this up. I'm not so sure. They'll say that Tom, he's got cheeky in his eyes. Well, and <laughs> we can totally understand where Charlotte's coming from. No man with a beard like that would tell the truth. It's raining. So, should we have a beer? We? Oui. And we'll walk back to Bel Air. Yep. Yeah. And jump on the tram. Do you still want to go to Manor? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so, sorry, we'll go back to Manor, then we'll get the tram from outside Manor, then we'll stop it into Marsh, get some Febreze, and clean up the cat piss when we get back. Yeah, the cat pissed on his bed last night. Not happy. <laughs> So I'll clean the mattress, you get to clean the duvet. <laughs> yeah, best go to clean the mattress, the duvet. The duvet covers are fine because they'll just go in there, I'll just put them in the washing machine when we get back. But we can't go anywhere at the moment because it's raining. So we've got to stay here. Is it so we need to stay under this cover. It's here. We found a little um, like bar on the lake that serves beer. So I've not shown them <laughs> the view across the lake. No, I haven't actually. I'll show you the view across the lake. You have to stop it and then you have to turn the camera around and then you have to start recording again. Sorry. So Charlotte likes recording and showing people what we do and stuff. She doesn't show you this. Found a nice little barge on the side of the lake. It's literally just there. <laughs> and look at that. You've got boats and swans and buildings and birds. So Jed de l'eau. French people, Charlotte, <laughs> and beer. Should brought a cigar. And somebody smoking a cigar, and I really wish I'd have brought one. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> under a brolly because it's raining <laughs> so we went to a little bar on the front and got a couple of beers and thought it might be quite nice to sit and look out over the water and Tom says oh the weather's closing in a bit <laughs> ah me <my> brolly <laughs> yeah so the weather was closing in um, and then it started pissing it down <laughs> so we're walking back towards Manor which is um, like a department store where they do like really nice food and stuff. Um, I think we're gonna get a couple of cakes. Take them home and have some espresso and some cake. So I'm not gonna film anymore now because A, I can't get away with filming in public because I'm under my brolly. But B, this brolly is notorious turning inside out, so <laughs> I need to put all my concentration into the brolly. Film that way with the stuff going on, don't film me. You can say what's happening. Oh, I have to describe it, okay. Yeah. There's a girl in a bright green furry coat. No, not describe your surroundings, say what we're doing. Alright, we're in on the tram. I thought you said describe your surroundings. I was doing. Plus, 
surveillé un moment, il avait juste à dribbler ou à lever le gardien, il aurait marqué. Oh, look at my hair! It's all freezing! Turn the French music down. Turn my French tunes off. We're back in the car now. So, we need to get into Marsh. May have got duped by some busker on the tram. <laughs> so we got on the tram, there's some guys playing um, like an accordion and a guitar. So I was like, oh, wicked, wicked, I'll have to film that. Comes up with his hat and he's like, para filma, para filma. I'm like, shit. So I had to give him some money. Luckily, he didn't look that hard at like what we gave him. I think he only must have given him. Right, a couple of francs, like I say, yeah. So <laughs> it didn't look too. I was a bit worried that he was going to come back and be like, not enough, not enough. More money. It's a bit scary. And then some proper dickish, um, uh, like, British woman, like, turned around and proper shouted at him, didn't she? Oh, she was like, don't touch me, don't touch me. I was like, you know, guy's only trying to earn a living, you know. Yeah, okay, so buskers and people like that, they can be a little bit, like, insistent at times, can't they? Like, you know, they can be a little bit intrusive when you just stood there, but at the end of the day, the guy is not, you know, he wasn't doing any harm. She was just But yeah, anyway, back at CERN, we're going to Intermarsh. We're going to Intermarsh. Because we need some stuff to spray on the bed. Because the cat pissed on it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and we need to get some booze for tonight. Sorry again for not ending the video on Sunday. Um, I really need to get into the habit of doing like an ending every day that I film so that if I end up not filming again in that week, I've still got like an, um, they call it an outro on YouTube. Um, it's basically like a, an in, a backwards introduction. <laughs> so kind of a thank you for watching, that kind of thing. Um, and because I want to do videos every week, I'm getting out of the. Ha I'm not getting into the habit of making sure that I finish each day, so that again, like I say, if we don't end up filming for any reason on subsequent days, I've still got an ending to my video. So I'm just popping in here to say thank you for watching the video. <laughs> I also just want to apologise a little bit for the sound. Um, obviously, in the last video that I did, you saw me opening all that new camera equipment that Tom bought me for my birthday, and it's amazing. I really love it. Uh, maybe I'm not sure whether I haven't quite got to grips with how it works or whether my phone is more broken than I thought it was I'm not quite sure which of those it is at the moment I think probably I'm not using the little microphone thing properly it's probably not good enough to use in really windy conditions but also, um, I think that last clip that I filmed in the car, I'd taken the fluffy out and I need to remember that if I don't have the microphone clipped into my phone, it doesn't record audio very well. So it's just a case of kind of getting my head around how the kit works um, and also trying to remember the limitations of my phone. Um, if you don't know, I dropped my phone and it smashed um, a little bit in, like in the corner of the glass it broke. And so ever since then it kind of dropped on the bit where the audio is recorded. And ever since then it hasn't recorded audio properly on my phone. So that's why Tom bought me all this new kit was so that I could record on my phone and make it a little bit easier. So not the best first experience with all the new camera equipment. Um, but like I say, I'm hoping once I kind of get to grips with it and stuff, it'll be a lot better. And I think we might be going up to Chamonix at the weekend, which is very exciting. Uh, Tom's friends, Tom's got a big group of friends who live in London. Well, all of them, well, not all of them, but a big group of them are going to the Chamonix area um, to do some skiing for a week. And we initially were going to go along with them, um, but then it was just working out too expensive. I don't know whether we knew <laughs> or whether we had an inkling in October of how much it was going to cost to live here. Um, but we kind of said, oh, I don't think we can really commit at this time because you had to put like the money down in October or something. And I said, oh, I don't really think we can commit to it at this time. And I'm really glad we didn't, to be honest, because there's no way we could have afforded that 
trip at all. So we can't go for the whole week that they're here, but luckily Chamonix is only a couple of hours drive away. So they're gonna go there and do a week of skiing. And then I think on like Saturday or something like that, we're gonna nip up there and see them. Hopefully um, the weather's gonna be okay for us to get up there. Tom's gonna buy some snow chains for the car, which could be quite interesting. Um, and yeah, we're gonna go and see them. I don't think we'll be staying overnight. I think we're just going for the day. Um, but yeah, that will be next weekend's video, which should be really exciting. Um, so yeah, please keep watching my videos and if you want to be informed every time I've got a new video up, um, if you hit the subscribe button, what that does is it actually sends you an email and it gives you a notification on your mobile or your device that I, when I've uploaded a new video. So if there's any of my family and friends who want to know when new videos are coming up and um, yeah, you kind of want to keep on top of them, then do that because that helps. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.